What's going on guys? Laura Agotega here with the Vibe Tech, Tampa's number one growth hack marketing firm. And today we're at an amazing event. It's uh, Social Enterprise Alliance Tampa Bay. And I just wanna say this is so cool. I had no idea about this until literally like maybe an hour ago. And I signed up on Eventbrite, shout out to them. And uh, yeah, we're all here, like show them, show, show them. Invited me over, I was next door at another event. So we're all here to play bingo, yeah, and we're all together gonna drive society forward because that's what social enterprises do. And I'm so proud to be a part of that. And if you want, you can tell the world who you are and what you do. I'm Sherry Sutton and I'm super proud to be part of this event and part of the Social Enterprise Alliance. And you should definitely come out to the next event and you should support Dubai because they're awesome. Dubai Tech Firm in the cut. We're out here, we're getting it and we're giving back because that's the only way we can positively impact society. See you guys in a little bit. Nah, you <laughs> You wouldn't. You wouldn't. You didn't make a lot of money. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm coming out with so for every for every kilo has that I help and so I did I think the girls really and women who can say gender and men women who can say Heck yeah, yo, that's awesome. All right, so here's my question. This is gonna be my first time. I need you to be like totally understand where I'm coming from because I need this to be like all right. So I was told, I'm an old chick, okay, but I'm trying to get out there. I was told that the, the, the appropriate question is to ask, how do you identify? Is that an appropriate question? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So that's what I need to know. I do, I, I'm a woman. I identify as a lesbian woman. A lesbian woman. And your name is Laura. And I'm Laura. Pleasure. So that's the right way to ask without offending? Because I want to, like, I'm not offended. I mean, I don't know. Some people are really sensitive. Oh, I know. And so I want to be appropriate. Like, I want to address people the way they want to be addressed, but I want to also make sure that I'm asking in a way that is that is not offensive, because I don't mean that. I don't think you asked in a way. Is that the right way? Yeah. Thank you. That was like very like straightforward to the point, and it wasn't like, what do you look like? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like that. No, I would never do that. That's not my thing. Thank you. Good. All right, thank you. I have to fill it. I'm the national sales director. Okay, I was about to say because you're a closer. <laughs> My boy's a closer. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a national uh, uh, you know social Grant media. Huh? Grant Cardone? Yeah. You don't know him? Oh, bro. He's my sales guru. Yeah? Bro, I love Grant Cardone. I love that man. How long have you been doing what you've done? I've been doing it for six years. Um, I made my first 20 grand online when I was like 16, Chat 17. Fuel. Chat, Chat Fuel. Chat Fuel. Yeah. Chat Fuel. I know the owner. Really? Yeah. You gotta follow me on Instagram, bro. <laughs> They're so smart and they're ahead of the game right now. Podcast players. Well, and you, if you didn't tell me I was gonna podcast, all I do, you listen to podcasts. Oh, I, I like 90%. So when somebody said something to me about doing a podcast, I went, oh my goodness, here's my chance to actually share what I can't necessarily say to somebody face to face in the financial world. Because regulations. <laughs> as well as in between. Sometimes you can't tell somebody something face to face. But if they can hear it, it'll play. I don't think it's like directed okay. towards that. Correct. It's no longer as personal, yeah. but it's something I want them to hear. Right. And so that was it. Like, pay your taxes. Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome that you, like, realize that. Because not a lot Well, I kind of got over it, you know? And I was like, what am I doing life now, you know? And it, I finally, yeah, I did. I realized that. And I, I don't need to change what I've done or who I am. I just need to step it up. You gotta level up. It's all about leveling up in life. And I see, I left my, I left my career to stay home with my child. Because the one medicine he got completely destroyed everything. You gotta listen to Alex Sharkin. Who? Alex Sharkin. He's my like guru. He's my mentor. All right, I need to start writing some of this stuff down. He wrote. He wrote way over my head fast. The billionaire. Thing. Okay. Like, I've heard so you have to follow him. Like you have to just do what he says. He's such an amazing person that he gives back and like he's just so dope. And I think you would benefit a lot from listening to more people like Alex. What? Sharpen. Just like it sounds. Sharpen. You know, uh, C A. Sharpen. 
I met him um, in February. Alex, I thought you said Alan. No, Alex. His podcast is called um, Momentum. Okay. He literally got me out of depression. I was I was only making money and I wasn't giving back to anybody and, and he like helped me realize I was fucked up mentally. Right, trying to get a and I just literally listened to everything he said. Like I went through stuff. I felt amazing and I feel amazing and every time I need to go again, I just listen to him. And he just I don't know why, but he just like gets me going and I'm ready to take on the world. Crazy. I see tell. this. <laughs> I told her, I said, I'm going to come over here. So it's over here interviewing people. <laughs> so, yeah. Say, yeah, no, I would love to be able to do some things because I think we have a lot that uh, can be compared and shared. And, you know, people need to hear it. We, we need to bring hope to a, to a hurting world. Totally. And I love that you're in the Tampa Bay area. Like, I've been traveling all the, all the United States and, like, I want to focus on Tampa. Tampa needs to shine. You know? And this is your home. This is my home. That's it. I mean, we I start in our backyard and we move from there. Yeah, I mean, I'm already everywhere, but I want to grow this place. Like, this is my this is my background. Like, I love Tampa. Very nice. Like, I just love Tampa. Success is your moral obligation. That's very cool. Yes, it is. And that's your. That's cool. I look at that every day. I wake up looking at that. Like, I don't know. I'm big on on like how you talk to yourself. Yeah. Like, hmm. you, you'll laugh at this. I took my son to um, the hundred thousand dollar handshake, teaching about how to, you know, how to shake hands and meet people and network. And he's fifteen, and so it was kind of a fun conversation. It was fun for mom because you know, mama didn't think she not go for anything, of course. And then he's fifteen, so it was quite interesting to see the process and the, the way he took it in, and you know, being able to meet adults and be treated like an adult and see how it really works. So that was kind of fun. Yeah. And I enjoyed doing that. So it's, you know, and it goes back to learning about the success and, and raising his mind up out of, you know, just where these teenagers are thinking. You know, it's like, this is reality. This is, this, this is, this is your obligation for yourself. You have a world to touch. We need to get on with it. Yeah, and it was really hard for me to come out, even though, like, I'm already, like, a very, like, social person. Like, I get nervous. When I did my first talk um, at Tampa Bay Startup Week, it was 600 people for my first talk ever. And I was That's just fabulous. like... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was awesome. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, and it was with Gary Vaynerchuk, so that was awesome. In a positive way, right guys? Yeah! We're having a blast, guys. If you're not here and you have a business, you need to find out more information. So I have linked their site to this live, so you can go check out their website, you can go check out what they're about. It's like the most amazing thing you can do if you're an entrepreneur, if you own a business, if, if you want to help people. Tony Robbins taught me an amazing thing. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure in life. And you need to give back if you want to be happy, if you don't want to end up like Robin Williams, if you don't want to end up like uh, Kate Spade, if you don't want to end up like um, the other dude that does the food thing, Anthony Bourdain, like, you got to give back, guys. It's, it's not about just achievement. Like, it's cool if you achieve things, but you got to give back. And um, I'm here with everybody. Yeah. We're having a blast. She's amazing! She knows what you were talking about? Great. Like, I studied those four people, and then I just took action. I took massive action. Because I was like, I'm not gonna be poor. Like, I decided I'm not gonna be poor. And then, I, now recently, I've got to Tony Robbins, because I made my money, and then I was really depressed, because I hated what I was doing. Yeah. I created, like, I, I created a business, but I trapped myself in the business. Yeah. Which was not what my goal was when I created it. Uh, and then in February, I met Tony, and I was, like, super depressed. Um, and he was like, you need to give back, because, like, the fulfillment is giving back to other people, and, like, seeing them succeed. That's, that's what makes people happy. That makes, makes everybody happy. Yeah. And I realized, oh, shit, you're right. Everybody makes yeah. happy. Yeah. 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 And I didn't know that. Like, I just, nobody taught me that. Like, nobody, I paid $10,000 to learn how to do this. Like, there's a lot of shit I didn't learn growing up. Right. Um, that are essential to my success. And, I don't know, dude. It's just like, this whole process has been, like, really hard. But it's so worth it. 
And like, dude, I almost committed suicide last year. Like, starting a business was really hard for me because I was not seeing success like that. You know what I'm saying? It took me seven months to scale to six figures. In month three, I was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. I thought I was my family for that. And it was a failure. And I was just like, I was almost like literally about to kill myself. And for some reason, I think I got clarity in that moment that I needed to use one service and one niche and scale the product. And that's what I did. And it worked. And the fact that it worked, just like, then I was happy. But then, like, I got trapped in the market. Like, it was not happy. Like, there's like, three Now I'm happy as fuck. We're content creating machines for Generation Z. So we're a growth hack marketing firm. Tyler. Generation Z. So we help big brands um, create the content that's going to get that generation to buy. Because it's the number one purchasing power generation. Have you seen what happened with the real retail industry and millennials? Like, we completely shut down Toys R Us. Amazon is dominating the entire sector. So what, what you saw happen there was just like a tiny little fraction of what's about to happen with Generation Z. So we help big brands adjust and pivot. All day. How'd you make your first 20 grand online? Affiliate marketing. Yeah, so it, was, it actually ended up being a Ponzi scheme. The government shut it down. But I made my money. And I made when the government shut it, shuts it down, I'm like freaking out. Like I just bought my first car, paid cash. Like I have to pay my own insurance. I, my parents can't pay for my shit. My mom left me when I was seven years old. She never came back. It was just me and my dad. And it was just really fucking hard. And I, I just went online. I had nothing but time on my side. I was a kid. So I learned how to code. Self-taught programmer. Good. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It, 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 it was not easy. Um, I, I taught myself how to like make websites uh, just because I, I I got out of the military. I started a website. Um, I helped with. Thank you so much for the service. Absolutely, man. So I started a website to help with veteran homelessness. So that was, my purpose in the military was take care of veterans or take care of you know my guys. So outside of the military, I got to take care of my guys. You know and. And so I wanted to start a nonprofit and kind of fulfill my purpose. I, I figured out that the single most, you know, important trait in human existence is purpose. Purpose is so amazing. You can find somebody on the side of the road that needs money, that needs a job, but until you give them purpose, you can't quite fix their lives. Because they have to fix their own lives. They have to fix their own destiny, right? So Doesn't I found that piss you off that you just can't just You can't just go in and buy you can't just give them like a hundred million dollars, dude. They just nothing. Nothing. It, it, they'll, lose they'll, it kill all. they'll lose it all, they'll kill themselves and get in drugs. It'd be terrible, right? So you have to get someone purpose. Purpose in life. So by doing so I found my purpose, which is to help other people. So then I got into a nonprofit that helps people with disabilities find their purpose. You know, and employment opportunities and structured living and skill acquisitions and all these different different kinds of you know, structures. And I I found that that is just so important to do. So it's I mean it's amazing what you're doing.